Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video and today I'm just gonna be doing a Raiden mod showcase. Now out of all the Genshin characters, the Raiden Shogun has the most mods on Game Banana. I guess she really is that popular. I mean, she is a very, you know, a very good character design, arguably a good written character depending on where you stand. But the Raiden Shogun has a lot of mods and it was kind of hard to, you know, figure out which ones I didn't have already and which ones I did. Anyways, as most of you may know, this top 10 isn't really in any particular order. It's just, you know, 10, you know, different rated mods to download. By the way, if you haven't liked the content, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I'm trying to get 9,000 subs by the end of 2024. It's over 9,000! Yes, 9,000. Number 10, we got Office Lady Raiden by the great Cybertron himself. This mod obviously depicts Raiden Shogun wearing an Office Lady attire. You got the Office Lady suit, you got the Office Lady skirt. She also seems to be wearing some tights as well. This mod also comes with some toggles with the P on your keyboard. You can toggle on Raiden Shogun's glasses. If you want your Raiden Shogun to look very sophisticated in the office place, you can have her wear glasses. You can also have her suit off if you want so it will expose her office lady shirt and you can also have the Raiden Shogun wearing glasses with her office lady shirt as well if you are looking for an office lady mod this is a perfect mod for the Raiden Shogun thank you Cybertron for this office lady mod number nine we got a chlorine outfit by not stable this shows the Raiden Shogun wearing Clorinde's outfit in my opinion out of all the Fontaine characters I think Clorinde has the best drip first of all her hat looks pretty cool I do believe the hat is called a bi cockit hat and it's basically like a style of hat that was fashionable for both men and women in Western Europe from the 13th and 16th century. It was traditionally worn by nobles and royalty and shit. Florend is wearing a white dress shirt with buttons on them. I've seen some pretty good fan art of people using those buttons like in a very imaginative way. Florend is also attiring a black corset with four golden buttons on them, which gives her like this noble woman qualities to her, which makes sense since she is like a champion duelist. She's also wearing thigh garters, which really hugs her thighs pretty tightly. She's also wearing white ankle high boots with some heels on them. The mod does come with a toggle feature. You can toggle Clorinde's head. So if you want to play Clorinde early, you can do that with the left or right arrow keys. Overall, I enjoy the mod. I enjoy Clorinde's design. Thank you, Not Stable, for this. Raiden Shogun mod. Number eight, we got Gamer Girl Raiden. This mod puts the Raiden Shogun in a gamer girl looking outfit. This mod was inspired from the second Hoyoverse fair, I believe. I haven't really watched any, I've watched one Hoyoverse fair and you know, to be honest, they're, they're cool and all, but I just don't really have time to like attend those, especially live. I didn't watch the second Hoyoverse fair, so I don't know, you know, what's the context with this. I guess it was just Raiden Shogun wearing a gamer girl outfit. I don't know, maybe attending school or something. I don't know. Anyways, the mod does look very good. It looks it looks like something that Hoyoverse could make, but they refuse not to. So the modding community has to step it up instead. The Raiden Shogun is wearing glasses, which makes her look very nerdy. Looks like a nerd. For headgear, she's wearing a gamer girl's headset with a Raiden Shogun looking trinket on the headset. She is wearing a purple hoodie that has an Inazuma style or like an Inazuma pattern to it. The hoodie also has three pins on it. She's got one that has the, an electro symbol on it. Her yellow pin has a dango on it, I think. For some reason, I thought it was like a weird kebab at first, but I think that's, I think that's dango, I don't know. The red one has a bird wearing a hat. The socks that she's wearing are a little uneven and she's wearing girly looking boots. The outfit looks pretty damn good. It's also pretty fucking impressive that Mei Maru managed to make this from scratch as well. Overall, a fantastic Raiden mod. Thank you, Mei Maru, for this neat Raiden mod. Number seven, we got Skahawk Raiden by Void Nan. This basically replaces the Raiden Shogun with Skahawk from the Fate Grand Order series. The mod does have a toggle. You can either toggle with Skahawk's OG costume, which is like a body tight suit, 
or you can toggle her summer version, which is basically her wearing a um, purple swimsuit. I do believe this model does come from Fate Grand Arcade, or I think it's just called Fate Arcade, I don't know. I do know the game is only exclusive in Japan since it is an arcade game, so you know, obviously Western arcades are not gonna have Fate Arcade. Anyways, it does look pretty good. If you want to play as a Fate character and one of them happens to be Skahawk, well, obviously this mod would be perfect for you. I'm very happy that this mod exists because I think Skahawk was what got me into the Fate Grand Order series to begin with all those years ago. So bless you, Void Non, for this Skahawk mod. Number six, we got a Turn Up Purum by Gu Chang. This mod was imported from a Raiden Mei skin from Honkai Impact 3rd. This mod depicts the Raiden Shogun wearing a white dress with a bit of blue mixed in. This outfit looks like it would be worn by a student council president or something, which makes sense since in Honkai Impact 3rd, Raiden Mei kind of did have that student council president vibe. She has a white collar that has a blue rose on it with a white ribbon right below her chest we see a blue ribbon she is wearing white thigh highs with two blue roses on her right leg oh and you can also see her panties if you want to see her panties she also has white heels with blue angel wings at the bottom of them which is obviously just like a decoration it's not like you know real wings or anything mod looks really elegant bless you gu chang for this raiden shogun mod number five we got luxury raiden made by capex this depicts raiden shogun in a elegant purple dress i don't know if this dress is from some other gacha game or if it was created from scratch but either way it looks really good on the raiden shogun since she does rock purple pretty well she has different hair ornaments she has a collar or i don't know for the collar i don't know what to call that maybe like a neck piece but fancy looking necklace on her she has like a waist bead on her with a I want to say that's like a tailsman attached to it. She has two swords on her hip. There's no sword mod for this mod as far as I can tell. The biggest sword on the sheath has jewelry beads as well. Raiden Shogun also has armbands. Her left arm, she has a silky armband and on her right arm, she has a more of a jewelry armband. Both of her purple gloves also have a difference. Her left glove is just a simple purple glove while her right glove has like a pattern on it. The back bottom of her dress also has a pattern with it. She has stock leggings and some fancy looking heels. A very beautiful Raiden Shogun mod. Bless you Capex for this mod. Number four, we got the St. Louis Dress mod created by Sasaki. This has the Raiden Shogun in the St. Louis Dress from Azure Lane. I don't know what else to say about this mod. It's basically just a very simple, sexy, but skimpy mod. The dress is very shiny and looks very expensive as well. The mod doesn't have any toggles or anything, so you can't play as St. Louis, unfortunately, but you can at least play with the Raiden Shogun in a very luxurious dress, thanks to Sasaki. Number three, we got Simplified A, created by Anilan. There's also a fixed version of this mod, fixed by DPPA. As the name of the mod suggests, it basically just simplifies the Raiden Shogun. First of all, it basically takes the Raiden Shogun's ponytail and basically has it all out. So there is no ponytail on the Raiden Shogun. The neck and the shoulders are missing an article of clothing that the Raiden Shogun normally wears. The Raiden Shogun is also not wearing any stockings. So it looks like the Raiden Shogun just woke up and, you know, decided to not really fully dress all the way. She basically just puts on her kimono doesn't do her ponytail, doesn't put on her stockings, doesn't put on her shoulder clothing thing, and just basically, you know, just got out of bed and, you know, that's it. I do think that the Raiden Shogun looks pretty good without the ponytail. In fact, she kind of looks like she's like a sleepy princess or something. If you are wondering what was fixed about this mod, it was basically a lot of Raiden Shogun mods, whenever you fight the the boss Raiden Shogun with a mod, the Raiden Shogun boss tends to look very glitchy and shit. So DPPA basically fixed that. I have not fought the Raiden Shogun boss in a long ass time and I technically don't even need to. The only Raiden Shogun mods I know that don't fuck up the Raiden Shogun boss fight is this one that I'm talking about in the number one slot on this video. Anyways, a very simple and cute Raiden Shogun mod. Thank you Anilan for this mod. 
Number two, we got Elegant Dress Raiden Shogun done by Loot Lad. The version that I have is Patreon exclusive. However, on Game Banana, you basically get a version without the white shawl on her neck. The mod just depicts the Raiden Shogun in an elegant, skimpy blue dress. The parts that are not blue on the dress seem to be a little transparent, just a little bit, I think. Since this is Loot Lad we're talking about, there is a very not safe for work version of this mod, but you do have to sign up for his Patreon. But we do got the safe for work version right here, which does look pretty good. You could definitely play this like on your school laptop or your work laptop without any funny eyes looking at you. My favorite part of the outfit is the thigh high stockings. It really shows off the Raiden Shogun's thighs. I don't know for sure if this outfit is from another series or if it was originally created. Either way, it does look good on the Raiden Shogun. Thank you, Lude Lad, for this mod. The last mod I'm going to talk about is the Hersher of Origin Raiden May mod. This was done by Lost72P. Now, this is probably one of my favorite Genshin mods of all time because the outfit itself just looks so fucking epic. It just looks like it would be worn by a legendary battle maiden or something. The pattern on her eyes look pretty cool. She's got purple eyes with like a blue ring around it, I think. If you didn't know already, this is an outfit from Honkai Impact 3rd worn by the Hersher of Origin. This mod does have a few different versions. There is no toggle for this mod. However, since the mod does look so fucking good, I don't really think it matters anyway. I know there's a version with the mask on, so if you want to play with the Hersher of Origin mask, you can play with that. I think there's also a version with the Raiden Shogun head. If you don't want the Raiden Mei head, you can play as a Raiden Shogun with this outfit. But I think Raiden Mei's design is generally pretty good, so that's why I rock with that instead. Overall, a very epic mod. Thank you, Lost72, for this Hersher of Origin mod. And that's gonna be the end of this video. Like I said before, the Raiden Shogun does have a lot of mods. I might end up making a part two, like on her birthday or something. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Which Raiden mod was your favorite? It doesn't have to be on this list. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye now. Come again soon.